No, I just came from dropping something off to somebody and now I'm on my way home and I got the directions up because this is the whole different side of the east side. I don't be driving every which way or whatever. However, um, I wanted to discuss Solange's new album. I listened to it today um, while at work. Okay. And, you know, in listening to it, I just wonder... If anyone else has listened to it, and if they feel, you know, kind of the way that I feel about it. Now, the album is called, you know, is it called When I Get Home? I think so. The last album, you know, A Seat at the Table, I loved the album from start to finish. Um, And, you know, that was a great album. Okay, great, great, great album. This album, uh, you know, I, I'm going to listen to it, you know, you know, a couple more times, maybe you know another two two times, um, to make sure to make sure Chandler Park, oh Lord Jesus, to make sure um, I ain't tripping and that I don't really not like it, but I don't think I like it. Um, the album just seems incomplete to me. You know I'm saying? It feels incomplete to me. And that's why I'm like, I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it. Like, it seems, it, it sounds like Solange. You know, it's definitely her, you know, her style. And, okay. Um, but it just... It feels incomplete. The songs to me all sound like long interludes. And the first song, I was like, she keep repeating the same thing over and over and over and over and over. So I was confused about what the hell was going on. And I was just like, you know, maybe I'm tripping. That's just the first song. Let me go to the second song. And a lot of like... It's a lot of songs on there that's like less than two minutes. Um, it's a lot of it's nineteen songs, but in reality, I feel like it's really ten songs. Um, but listening to it, you know, there wasn't any one song that I was like, oh. You know, I, I like this song. I, I play this song whenever. Like I asked. Okay, I know where I'm at now. Um, at one point, I asked Shannon. You know, it was me and I was playing it. You know, for me and Shannon to both listen to it. And I asked Shannon. I said, Shannon, you think we'll either one of us would ever be like, hey, let's put that new Solange album on? Because sometimes we'll do that. We'll listen to whole albums and or whatever. Because we like, like we will listen to her the last album she did. We will play it all the time. We like and vibe out. I couldn't vibe out to this. The the music kind of was a little bit aggravating to me. Like, it was like nails on a chalkboard at some, you know, points here and there. And I was just, I was just confused. I was confused. I, I, I don't know what it is. And I know she's very different. I know she's very eclectic. I know she's very out there. And she's not a typical kind of artist at all. And, and I'm a fan of hers. That's the thing. I'm a fan of Solange. Like, I really, you know what I'm saying, I really fuck with her. But I have to be like, I, did, I didn't like it. I didn't. I know she said that she has a movie coming out. Well, excuse me, which is like the soundtrack to the, to the well, probably a movie to the, to the, to the songs. But I, I'm just confused. And I wonder if anybody else who listened to it is confused too. Out of the 19 songs, it's not Nanan's song 
that caught my attention at all. Like, at all. And I feel like when you listen to anybody's album who you like, there should at least be one song that catch you. And you're like, oh, all right. Mm. You know, you know, and you know, a little bop. I didn't find a bop yet. But again, I'm going to listen to it again. Okay. I'm going to try to listen to it again. Because I, I cut it on last night. That's the crazy part. I cut it on last night, you know, a little after midnight. And I was, y'all know I was up, up. Um, so it wasn't as if I was too tired last night to listen to it. But after hearing the first, I think, three songs last night, I'm like, no, I can't, you know, this, I don't, I don't, I'm going to have to listen to this tomorrow. Because I cut it, I'm like, I just didn't like it. So today I felt the same way. And I think I was saying to Shannon, I'm like, some of these songs, I said, this one song is like a minute and 12 seconds. And I'm like, that's not, that's not a that's not a finished song. I feel like some artists, that could have been an EP it had she just put some of them damn in loose together. Okay. Now her voice sounds amazing. And you know, I, I there was I know there was one song that I heard that was very, you know, uh the words was great, but I still wouldn't play it again. Not to my knowledge of it, I wouldn't. So this is just my first initial listening of it. And I don't like it. And I just wonder if anybody else thought the same thing. Um, and I also said, I'm like, and I'm kind of mad because I feel like because the launch album came out, then we know for a fact that Beyonce not going to put nothing out because they're not going to try to compete with each other. Um, not, that, not that, it, that it would even be a competition, but they typically don't have um, music out at the same time. You know, to allow the other one, they time to shine, okay? To shine. So, I feel like, well, damn, that means we probably won't get no Beyonce album for at least, you know, maybe two months. Because I just doubt very seriously Beyonce put out an album right after Solange did. Because it would just, you know, I, no tea, no shade, it would overshadow Solange. And I haven't heard anyone or I haven't seen anyone on, you know, social media today, like, praising the album or saying, you know, this is my song right here. You know, I haven't seen that this time, how, you know, it happened last time. That could be because the whole Jordan Woods, Tristan Thomas, Thompson, Khloe Kardashian as things have been happening today, too. Because uh, even I was talking about that, but I want to make sure to, you know, comment and comment about Solange's album. So I just want other people to also go stream it and listen to it, to tell me your opinion. Um, again, I will listen to it again. I'm probably listening to it over the weekend um, when I'm at home moving furniture around and stuff, uh, you know, redecorating. But, yeah, that first listen, or I guess technically my second listen, because, again, you know, I listened to the first three-ish songs, early, you know, late last night. I, I don't. I don't, you know, it, it didn't it didn't move me. The, why the fuck is everybody playing musical chairs in traffic? Um, it didn't move me the same way. A seat at the table there. But again, y'all make sure to go listen to it. Check it out. Let me know what y'all think. And I'ma holla at y'all later. Okay. Um was I thought I'm I'm going to comment on Tristan Chloe, all that. I'm gonna have a whole separate video for that. I'm gonna do that when I get home so I can be in my in my bag and I wanna put up some of the tweaks that Chloe put up. I wanna be sure to address this shit personally, okay, from a good standpoint. Um, I will be live this Sunday on YouTube. We're going to be playing One Gotta Go. Okay, One Gotta Go. I, I'm wondering if I should go live Saturday to discuss the whole Tristan Thompson, all that stuff separately because I don't want to be on live too long on Sunday. Or I'm like, should I pause One Gotta Go and let everybody sound off about, you know, other stuff. So I have to see... Um, I have to decide what I'm going to do because I don't know yet. If y'all have an idea of what I should do, okay, if you have an idea of what I should do, put it in the comment section so I can, you know, have a idea of what y'all think. Should I go live on Saturday for the Jordan Wood shit and, and then also do the live on Sunday for One Gotta Go? Or should we just do one live on Sunday? To discuss that stuff. And maybe we'll do one gotta go. The following week. So let me know what y'all wanna do. Now let me know what y'all wanna do. Um, 
I also want to address something. Well, not mine. I was going to discuss Maddie, um, you know, kind of just speaking her mind about the whole, the other bitch, she be talking about her and people coming for Maddie. I need y'all to leave Maddie the fuck alone. Okay, that's boo. Maddie, that's baby. Okay, that's mother. So, if you don't like Maddie because she trans, fuck you. Okay? And that's all I'm going to say about that. But I support her wholeheartedly. And I wasn't going to do no whole video and put her name in it because, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to do that. But I did want to say, you know what I'm saying, from my, my throat my throat box to y'all ears, you know what I'm saying, don't be on that bullshit when it comes to Maddie. Okay. Got to go. Peace. It's like love, love, love. And you